Hello everyone, welcome to our kingdom Bentonia in Foundation. And today guys, we are gonna be moving our Lord Manor all the way over to this side. And this is gonna be a great area that we can set up a new great Lord Manor with a lot of nice details and make it really, really beautiful. Another thing that we did uh, get the last time was that we unlocked a new garden. So that's pretty, pretty cool. We're gonna look into that. And we may add that to the Lord Manors. They may be the same thing. So before we maybe move the Lord Manor, let's have a look on the different pieces we got that we unlocked recently. So let's look in this one. So we have an archer trellis. We got some plants, some herb corner. Looking beautiful. And you can imagine that we can use this for our Lord Manor to make maybe a little garden for the Lord himself, the almighty bent of the kingdom. There's not a ton of different points and different things here, but it uh, gives an optional effect. Solid recovery speed increased by 2. When the condition is met, the maximum number of decorative parts, excluding masterpiece parts. Okay. So we're gonna look into that. I guess then we could potentially start with making the Lord Manor itself first then. So, let's go to Lord Manor. And like I said, we're gonna make a grand Lord Manor. And... Um, I'm kind of leaning towards having it next to the water. I think it's pretty cool to have that. Potentially, we can make it like a bridge or something as a little harbor there as well. We will see, I guess. So let's start with that one. We're gonna need a core piece to begin with. And we're gonna make this really, really big. That's the idea, at least. And uh, we're gonna be able to store a lot of treasure in it. So let's maybe start experimenting with that one. And I wonder if it should have like a combination, like having this one hooked into that one. We could have these heights, but I'm gonna maybe increase the height on that one a bit. And potentially have that one that, like that. And then we have another piece uh, sitting over here. Like that. There we go. Snap it correctly. There we go. So perhaps it would look like that. It looks maybe strange for maybe a king or some living there, but uh, as we add more parts, I think it's gonna make it look even better, right? And we can add some towers if we want to. We can have like a tower in the front or in the back. Maybe on each side we can have a tower. We can also disable the snapping over here. So maybe we can uh, take one in the corner over there. And then we drag this one up because it's going to be a tower, right? I was thinking over there. Or maybe we can have that like in front of those houses like that. Or we can make a really, really long building. Let's experiment with that idea as well. So then we would take like this one, potentially hook this one in the front like so. Almost could look like a church like that. I think they look pretty beautiful together. And then we can add like this one in the back and like kind of like hook them together a bit. And we can have them kind of the same height. They will be clipping a little bit depending on how we're putting them. But we could have them kind of like that if you want to. Maybe even more together like so. But we also do have a stone set, and maybe we should look into using that a bit. A stone main building. Let's remove that one. Ah, the official garden is together with the Lord Manor. Okay, that's cool. So let's see how this one looks if we push it up a bit. I'm not sure if I like that one. It doesn't feel like very royal to me. It feels like more like a fortification rather than the royal building for our Lord. Uh, but we can use those together, I guess. And maybe we can have like a freestanding tower over there. And I wonder if you take like one of these and then another one, just rotate it around. Then maybe have it like that. It would be like it's part of the tower, kind of. And I wonder if this tower might be better. We could also use it like that, so it looks like it's part of the same building. If you push it even deeper if you want to, but it depends if you want to have the window. But let's maybe go like that, so we have like a half a window, kind of. Like so. And we could do the same thing at the other side if you want to. We can have two of them sitting like that, with the Lord Manor. And um, let's see here, we do have these as well, some extension we can add if you want to. And 
then I guess we could, if we take them and maybe put them here, then make this go up a bit. Make like a little extra roof over there. Move it a bit to the side. And then we can add like a door. And since we're using no snapping, we can actually push it kind of in here. If we don't want it to be so big outside, right? So maybe like that. That would be the way to get inside. I do feel like I do want to have like a tower, but I wonder if that should be like in the back, maybe. And the window should definitely be facing towards the lake. So let's extend this one up. It should be pretty, pretty tall. Looks like the Moomin Tower almost. <laughs> maybe push it out a little, little bit and rotate it around. So let's maybe start with that ID and uh, let's look into some uh, more parts then. So we have an extension over here. Which we can also use if we want to. And then uh, we have uh, one over here that has something going on there. What is that? Ah, maybe we can have that. That looks like the tax office, kinda. I'm not sure if I want to have that here. It seems your people don't want to live close to it because they want to get, want to get more taxed, I guess. Uh, but we could have that if we want to, but I'm gonna wait with that one. Oh, also we do have this large stone. Oh, this one looks better than that one. Let's go with this one. That looks really cool. That looks awesome. Move it a little bit to the side, like so. And uh, we can have some archer trellis, maybe? Okay, let's see what more we got. Wooden fences, we got the herb corners. So we can have this right next, maybe, to the entrance. Like a little bushy plant in front, perhaps. Around the flower bed, yeah, maybe. And perhaps then we can have like a corner around that one. Like that. And I feel like there should be something over there too. A climber plant, yeah, that would be awesome. Maybe one on each side like that. Stage and mint. Uh, maybe we can have that one over there, and let me just take these and take them out a little bit. Like that, a lot of beautiful garden decorations. And a fountain we can have as well. We can have that maybe just right in front of you. Maybe a little bit of distance away. And if we want to, we can have fences to cover these, but I don't know if I want that. I feel like that ruins the beauty of it when you lock it in like that. That's gonna be really beautiful. And we all also have our hedges, of course, and we can, like, make a little pathway if we want to. Perhaps we can have uh, some fences here to, like, kind of force them to take certain paths. So maybe if we have it like that, hopefully they can walk between there. Or we can have it set up like that, kind of so open like that. Like so. Like that. This is turning into a real, real green area, but I love it. Green is good. And uh, let's have this one maybe centered over here. And what we can do is to add some hedges there with uh, the hedge tool. And let's see, maybe I can add that while we're doing this. Yeah, we can. Awesome. So we just do it like that, right? And then connect the same over here. Awesome. And if you want to, we can also continue it from over here. Want to have it outside. Really depends on how we want to make our things. And we can have it go around here as well. But I don't think I want to have that in the back. I think over here is enough with it. 
Oh, maybe I can have the small one inside of the big one. Like that. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take the path in here, and we can also set up like a red zone around this with the paint tool, so like, we can have like, don't go over here, right? Force them to go in there. That way, that should be the only way for them to get inside, but I feel like when we're building it, we're gonna leave it like this. Or we can try, we can try restricted from the beginning. Let's give that a try, actually. Just to see if it's gonna work or not. Because every time we run around, they will eventually, like, create some roads, right? So maybe we can prevent that if we do this. Because I don't know if roads will eventually disappear when they don't use them. So there we go. It's looking beautiful. Let's see, animal paws went out. Banners, that could be nice. Let's turn on snapping again. Maybe uh, some banners on these. It'd be beautiful. And uh, at this side as well, I think. We don't really have so good spots for it. We can put a flag if we want to in the top, why not? It would be cool to hang some banners in those, that would be nice. Maybe like that. And uh, not gonna use the big peas, uh, rustic roof chimney. Maybe we can use this one. You probably need to have some kind of chimney somewhere, right? Because uh, they want to stay warm inside the Lord Manor too. Uh, maybe we'll skip that, because I can't really put it the way I want to have it. We also do have this one, a stone tower. I think we're gonna go like that. What's this gonna cost? 88 planks, 66 polished stone, a lot of wood, tools and polished stone, and a cloth. How much money? That's not too expensive, really. I was expecting a more heavier prices, actually. And we can add some more things later if you want to. Like, we could have a tax building if you want to nearby. I don't know if I want to have that. I can also do some of these extensions. But I think we will start the basic like this, and if there's something we want to change later, we can do so, right? And I think our bridge should be done. Yeah, it is awesome. Let's build that one. Hopefully it's going to be beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if there's anything that you feel like we should be changing. And since we have access to this land over here now, I feel like it's time to start using these berry bushes, because we have a lot of trouble with berries. We're gonna get some more gatherer huts and uh, how to gather this, so let's build one over here, we might move it later. And we can add a little extraction stone. We also do have some stone over here. We can build an uh, a quarry. A stone cutter camp, and they have that kind of far away over there. Okay, so now they're carrying things over, and uh, let's see if they're gonna take the right paths. Yeah, so far they seem to do so. Nice. They have a little bit of distance that they can build, and if they need to build inside, they can do that later. Got some more villagers, awesome. Oh yeah, we had one for building a church, we should do that soon. I think we already did, didn't we? We swapped the, this one out. So they're still building it. Oh yeah, we're missing the stained glass window. We needed glass. I wonder if you have bought any yet. An envoy is approaching your village. Hello, envoy. Welcome. Yeehaw. We'll talk with him soon. Send soldiers to help the king. Let's see what people have. Where's some wounded people? We have weapons for everyone, uh, but we can send over some people, I guess. Prepare the troops, so let's send over the people that aren't wounded, but have a weapon, and pretty trained. Let's send over, there we go. Oh, here he is. People are hungry. A sudden drought has caused a terrible shortage of food across the kingdom. It's simply not enough to feed everyone. They need our help. So, who should we assist today? Let's maybe help uh, our people this time. Five red. I think we will have that already, right? There we go. Awesome. And you can see that we do need to have some bigger treasury because this one can't support that much. We'll be getting some more over in this one later on. And I'm probably gonna make it bigger as we go. 
But I think it's really beautiful that we have the garden over there, and that's gonna be the main Lord Manor. And maybe this one could be for some other high up people in our kingdom. At least we can imagine that is what it would be, right? And, uh, hmm, cheesemaker. I don't think we got a cheesemaker yet. Okay, we have unemployed people. Villager's path is blocked. Okay, let's see. Cheesemaker. I don't think we made that yet, have we? Ah, here it is. Oh yeah, we do have cheesemaker. Nice. So, they just haven't moved it in there, I guess. Tavern, no attendance. Ah, okay, we can, we can set it up service counter. So, tavern resources type to the villagers, public launch. Okay. Oh, and then we can have a bartender. Let's get one. There we go, that should be good. Hmm, look at that. So much trading, so much money going in and out now. Awesome. Gathering hut built. And let's see if we have some available people for this one. Awesome. And uh, our stone cutter cam. There's still... There's already someone working over here, even though the cutter camp isn't ready yet. That's good. Storage full, missing raw material. And we need a hunter in this one. Another one in this one. And some more boars. We're missing some wheat. Do we need to get more wheat? Maybe we need another farm. I feel like we could do, probably do a farm over here, right? A wheat farm. Let's do that down... Maybe we can have that next to the road and we can do the wheat down here. And we can see, maybe they will chop that down. We got four construction. Missing construction. Bill of office found... Oh, nice. They found some stone over here. Good, good. And gold. Awesome. So we have both iron, gold and stone. Nice. We are victorious, but my lord, your troops has been very helpful regarding the matter with our even neighbors. That said, the matter seems far from being so resolved yet, and we still need your support. Yeah, they can keep the troops. Let's keep them there. Okay, let's get some workers for the stonecutter camp. Need some more villagers first. Couldn't reach the cabins. Oh, they want me more help? I mean, let me think about it for a bit. Okay, country stone hall and country to kitchen. Is there something wrong with this one? Like, they should definitely be able to go there and... Here as well, I think. I mean, they can go right next to it, right? I hope that's gonna work. If not, we just will have to... Uh, adapt this a bit, I guess. I can try to, like, push these out a bit. And I wonder if we should maybe move this stone cutter camp away. They can go and work another one for a while. Let's get this away. So let's just try to move that, see if they can access that better if we just do that. And the same with this one. Just to see if it works or not. And let's move the gate perhaps as well. Okay, then we click that one. There we go. Okay. Looks like they were building. Wasn't this one done? Charge. Yeah, let's charge. Let's do that. Okay, let's build that. Hopefully this will fix it. Maybe that's why we didn't have any cheese inside either. Hopefully that was the reason. We can serve some delicious food and tasteful drinks in town. We have to be careful with watching. P Village path blocked again, okay. I think we're gonna wait with them for a bit and we're gonna check if more of them will pop out later on. I don't think we're selling any cheese in any of these places are marked stalls, so maybe we should add some cheese to them. Add 
Uh, oh yeah, we never built this one. Let's build it. And then we can go back to the center one. So we're selling bread, berries, fish and common clothes. Uh, let's add another one. This can be for food. So I guess a red one would be good, but I feel like I have two men of the same color now. So I'm actually going to go for a different one. So let's go to the food stall again. And it's going to be a green tent. There we go. So let's build that one. I wonder if we need more builders, perhaps? Maybe, maybe. I don't think we have gotten any glass yet. We needed a glass for this one. Stain of the glass. And I think we needed to make that. Okay, so with the glass smelter we can produce glass with quartz and coal. Okay. So I'm not sure where we make the stain of the glass or if we have to buy it in. I'm pretty sure I have seen a place where we could do it before. Perhaps it's another building that we extend like we have the sculpture workshop. Maybe you do that where you uh, melt the things to create windows too. So let's maybe try to make a glass maker. Let's have it all the way over here. I'm having most of the production a little bit further away from town, so I think it's going to be better that way. Okay, we have some unemployed people. Let's get them some jobs. Uh, someone is uh, unavailable to get to where they need to go again. Ah, this guy. Okay, that maybe that makes sense. I don't remember why I even put it there. I think I just did it for fun or something. Oh, it's not even built built fill yet. Okay. Oh, did I have to do it because I needed to place the other things? I think like that might be it. So I'm gonna make a new food stall, maybe. Maybe you can have it right outside. I don't even know if I need to have it. Hmm, seems I could remove it at least. Now it should be fine, I think. Awesome. A monk is approaching village. Hello, monk. Welcome to Bantonia. Hope you are going to have a good time here and let's see what you want to request with us. Oh, we got some promotion available. Oh, wow. That's a really unhappy one. Water shortage, food shortage. Oh, wow. That's not good. That's not good at all. Definitely not going to promote that person because that person's going to be not going to be happy. But I'm going to promote a few more people to the serfs, the happy ones. If you're not happy, no promotion. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but we, I may have to overlook the water and potentially food as well. Berries we're low on, that's a big problem. Fish we're good on, bread we're good on, cheese we are probably good on. But it may be that we need some more interesting things. We do have beer now. I don't think they served it until we fixed it this recently though, so that could be one reason. Okay, what do you want to talk about, Mr. Monk? These are needed times, my lord. The king demands some materials. The clergy wants to renovate some of its churches, but their own workers are in need as well. We need to choose who we want to help. Okay, let's help uh, the clergy this time. I'm gonna deliver some plaques. Dear go, you're very, very welcome. How's it going over with the Lord Manor? Look at that, guys. It's looking beautiful. I'm looking forward to make this better and better. It's gonna be great. Uh, but guys, this is gonna be it for today with the Foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I also wanna say to you guys that I hope you guys can have a happy holidays. A good Christmas, get a lot of good food, have good company with friends, family, and so on. And uh, I'm gonna be having that, so I'm looking forward to it. So, thanks for watching today's video. 
and I hope to see you next time, and if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like on the video and uh, let me know how you're gonna celebrate your Christmas, and uh, maybe Christmas is already over, and tell me if you got some good presents. So until next time guys, have a great time, stay safe, and have a great day because you deserve it. Take care everyone, have a good one.